stable nation, led by only two heads of state since it received independence from France a quarter of a century ago. Since then, it has been courted constantly by a variety of international powers because of the country's strategic position on one of the world's busiest shipping lanes. In the early morning, Dakar might be. Ceremonial occasions such as the Brazilian state visit are welcome diversions for any leader faced with insurmountable problems. A few days when the harsh realities can be pushed into obscurity by an upwelling of national pride. What might at first seem more surprising is that a South American country with no shortage of interest in an African state, pathetically poor by comparison. The reason lies not so much in the historical fact that the ancestors of some Brazilians came from West Africa, as in the fact that Senegal occupies an extremely strategic position on the African. For two centuries, Gore was a world center of the infamous black-skinned ebony trade. It was in tiny cells such as these that tens of thousands of Africans captured by their fellow countrymen in raids on the mainland and then sold to the slavers were kept to await the arrival of slave ships. For these people, the great social event is the arrival. In spite of these difficulties, the people and most of their livestock do manage to survive in this harsh environment. In fact, Senegal is better off than most of its neighbors, so much so that many Mauritanians, easily identifiable